question how do i declare an array of structures let's consider the simple structure we saw earlier struct point right <clears throat> now in this case how do i create a one variable for this structure so i i should write struct point x right what if i want 50 such structs simply writing 50 exactly like how we would declare 50 integers if we wanted to declare 50 integers we would have written int x 50 in place of int we have struct point okay so there are now 50 point structures in this array what if i wanted to access the float a value of the first one among that what should i do i should just write x 1 dot a right if i wanted the 23rd i should write 23rd dot b this is accessing the b at, uh, float b so 23rd one simple right okay next thing is how is this when i when i declare a structure and i and i run the program how is the memory going to be allocated so when i create the structure the memory is going to be allocated like this so the, the structure will allocate for this variable so let's just say that i have one variable x i just have struct point float x for that the machine will allocate basically two float values So memory for two float values <coughs> which we know are called a and b so this will be four bytes four bytes totally eight bytes will be allocated for this structure now if i had 50 i would have had similar i would have had 50 of this 50 of this would have been allocated okay this is simple right this is as clear as how um, how an integer array how a float array or a character array uh, you declare and how how the, the most natural way the memory is allocated now the next thing is that so this is a static way to allocate memory allocate 50 arrays now the next question is what what if i want to allocate this dynamically right so for that first of all i will use the i'll i like to create a pointer to a struct and to that pointer i'm going to allocate memory for 50 struct points okay so let's see how to do that so i will first create a pointer and now so how how do we allocate memory dynamically we know using memory allocation or malloc function right so we have to use that function and what does malloc take as input the number of bytes required to be allocated now let's say i want to allocate 50 such points so i have to tell this malloc function that i want memory for 50 such structure right so i should say 50 but how much does each struct take how much memory is required for each struct i have an operator for that that's the size of operator that's what i used for in float etc right so i will use the size of operator and write <coughs> so
so 50 into size of struck point this will now the function is going to allocate this much memory and it's going to return a block of memory and it's going to return the first the address of the first location of that block of memory and how will it return it's it's going to return as a void star pointer that address is going to be returned as a void star pointer and therefore but my ptr is of type struct point star right it's a pointer to a struct point and therefore i need to type cast it how do i type cast it i will write I typecast it using the type struct point star. So I type I change from void pointer void star to this type and then that's assigned to PTR because PTR is of the same type we can do it. Okay, it's clear. <coughs> now how do I access the value of A of the first um, of the first array? which is dynamically allocated exactly like we did for static allocation. I will write okay Let's say I, I, I am assigning the value 10 to this now if I wanted something else I could have done PTR So, so this is exactly like uh, how we access, our, uh, uh, access an array and similarly we can access this what is um, even if it's dynamically allocated we can use the same syntax for right. Okay that's it. Thank you.